high heels on He ain't running around But you're doing yourself so wrong You know I'm not the only one who cares The big cat that the man upstairs The Lord above is watching over you You know you got me to think There's nothing else to do But to get down on my knees And say a prayer for you to uh, week four of uh, Jesus period, the Jesus period series. And the title of this week's topic is Bearing Witness to the Lordship of Christ. As a warm-up, uh, we have uh, three bullets here. When you have updates to share, how do you usually communicate with your family and friends? Recall an instance uh, explaining this. Uh, second, is it easy for you to speak your inner, innermost thoughts or is it something you struggled with? Why do you think this is the case? And last, share about the time when you taught someone a skill. What was it? How did you teach him? So I pick uh, the first one. Since we're in uh, the age of uh, social media, updates are being shared on uh, social media platforms like uh, Twitter, Twitter X, uh, YouTube, Facebook, and others, other uh, social uh, networks like uh, inviting people for a family reunion is easier now because we we contact each other through messenger or any uh, sock med uh, devices for our word we have uh, Colossians chapter 4 verse 3 at the same time, pray also for us that God may open uh, open to us a door for the word to declare the mystery of Christ on account of which I am in prison. 
In his letter to the Colossians, Paul established that Christ is above all and has welcomed us to his kingdom by redeeming us from sin, enabling us to live the holy, transformed lives and the uh, one fundamental part of living under the Lordship of Christ is bearing witness to his Lordship. We are commissioned as followers of Christ to make disciples and tell others about him. More than uh, a commission, we have uh, we have the opportunity to partner with God to advance his kingdom on earth so that many more can enjoy his rule of love. Our first lesson is uh, bear witness by proclaiming the gospel. Colossians 4 uh, verses 3 to 4 says, At the same time, pray also for us that God may open to us a door for the word to declare the mystery of Christ, an account of which I am in prison, that I may also make it clear which is how I ought to speak. Uh, Paul freely asked the Colossians for prayer, uh, for open doors, and for the gospel to be presented clearly. Prayer is a position of humility and knowing who truly rules. Clear evangelism can only happen with God's grace. It is he who opens doors and creates divine appointments. And uh, with God, we can speak. We can speak to others with graciousness and tell them clearly what Christ has done for us and how he has changed our lives. Nice to hear, right? What are the some ways we can proclaim the gospel in good times and bad? Well, you can share the gospel, the word. Uh, you can share this Jesus Christ through uh, occasions like uh, parties, <laughs> uh, anywhere, even weeks, funerals, and sad times, even at the hospitals or even at uh, the home of uh, the person you want to share the gospel. There's no limit to where God wants us to share and proclaim uh, the good news of the gospel. Number two, bear witness with our lives. In Colossians 4, verses 5 to 6, walk in wisdom towards outsiders, making the best use of time. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. Here, uh, Paul reminds the Colossians that they can bear witness to the gospel in the way they live. Our lifestyle and speech uh, send clear messages to those around us and uh, about our relationship with God and our character under his lordship. When our greatest motivation for word and action is to please God, not people, God's love will shine through and God's love will shine through and even attract others who see it. So what are some ways we can bear witness with our lives? Uh, this is the tough part. When we Proclaim to others that we are believers of Christ, Christians. We're being pulled into a microscope that even the slightest mistake we, we do is subject to ridicule and others. So, but that is why, that, it, that is what God wants us to do, is to bear witness with our lives. We share our life with others. We even, uh, I don't know, the bad things? Or will it be uh, effective if we share the bad with the good? 
but uh, I trust God that uh, He can use our lives, He can use my life to uh, spread the good news of the gospel. So as application, uh, first, do you know how to share your testimony? Practice telling others about what Christ has done for you and pray that you would be able to share this with someone this week. Second, do you feel that your lifestyle bears witness to the gospel? Why or why not? What are some things that you feel might not be bearing witness to God <laughs> when you make a mistake during driving and shout at those <laughs> drivers that pisses you off? Yeah, that's, that's uh, one thing. And thirdly, what does it mean to you personally to make the best use of your time? Are there moments of your time that could be allotted to other things? Prayfully consider these things in your personal devotion time. As our prayer, humbly pray for open doors and divine appointments from God to proclaim the gospel. Pray for God's grace. Pray for God's grace to show by your words and conduct what living under God's lordship means. And lastly, ask God to show you a specific person that needs to hear about the good, his goodness in your life. Pray for an open door to speak to this person about him. So this, this is our lesson for this week. And uh, God bless everyone who is listening and watching this uh, podcast.